finally back. I took literally like a month and I'd say a month and a half off from making these videos on YouTube and just putting the videos out on Instagram. But I'm finally here to say that I am back and I'm back on my routine. You know, sometimes you really need to take some time for yourself in life to really understand and reevaluate what you are doing. Back better than ever due to the fact that a lot of the stuff that I was saying, I'd say a few months ago about fear, that was like one of my first videos on YouTube, I spoke about fear and I asked people what they were fearful of and you know, people didn't really like tend to the video. It, they thought I, I was just talking at them. But now that we're in this situation with all the Corona stuff, it's the same question I'm asking you again. What are you fearful of? And a lot of people are fearful of actually getting sick and actually dying. And that, that's a big concern right now. We understand we're trying to mitigate the contagiousness or the spread of this coronavirus, but we need to understand that yes, while we're limiting the spread of this coronavirus, we need to see that yes, it is a bad time, but on top of it, you can't stop living your life in a sense. And I'm not saying for you to go outside and start running willy nilly and gathering of like 10 people or 20 people, 30 people. And I'm just saying having those daily routines of exercising, if you were exercising, running outside, uh, this is your opportunity to find things that you didn't think could have been a way for you to lift and get fit and actually put it into full fruition. Now, just because your routine is out of whack doesn't mean the work has to stop. And a good example of that is your job. For many people who are working in a corporate setting or a corporate space, they have been displaced from their office space, but they haven't stopped working. They literally sent their people home with a laptop and I saw literally someone walking home with one of those big computer towers uh, with his monitor in his hand. I said, what are you doing? He's like, I'm working from home. I'm like, damn, they didn't give you, give you a laptop? He was like, no. So if your company is not willing to take a rest and take a break, why should you take a rest and take a break off of some of the goals that you have for yourself in 2020? And some of us had some fitness goals, some of us had some financial goals, and some of us even had some traveling goals. These goals and these actual uh, visions that you've been having for the start of 2020, ever since 2019, you said 2020 would have been your year. I'm pretty sure most of us have said it. This is your time to let yourself know that no matter what comes in your way, shouldn't stop you from doing what you said that you were doing. Actually, financially, you should be in a better place, in a sense, if you didn't lose your job. If you did, I am so sorry to hear that. But for those that still have their jobs and still are getting that check coming in, you should be able to be in a better position financially because you're not spending as much. And for those who are attempting to get back into shape, yes, the gyms are closed, the workout space are closed, but you gotta oftentimes remember, there are a lot of things around that you could potentially use as some type of a weight in order for you to uh, put your fitness self in shape and keep yourself on track. Now, with every hiccup in a row, doesn't mean that you have to derail yourself and get yourself out of whack. You just need to be able to adjust. And in this point in time, a lot of companies are feeling that pressure and adjusting, but you should do the adjusting in your life as well and not see it as a terrible time, but understand that things will get better. And with things getting better, you will see that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. But on top of it, you will learn new skills and new opportunities and see new things that you didn't get to see because you was in that same normal routine that you actually was able to break. I should say forcefully break because of this virus. See it as a positive, but yet then again, take precautions and make sure that you're safe. And I'll see you next week, all right?